Hi guys, Ange here. Thanks for joining me and welcome to my channel. In today's video, it's going to be very, very brief. Yesterday I posted a video of all the makeup that I absolutely love and want to acquire with a few items that I'm on the fence with and I asked for your help in helping me determine whether they go in my cart or not. In today's video I separated the items that I'm definitely not going to purchase. I didn't want to make yesterday's video too long-winded so I'm putting the things that I'm definitely going to take a miss on in this video. If you are new to my channel I'd really appreciate it if you click the subscribe button. I upload two videos a week and I'd love to see you back and if you are a subscriber and you've come back to see another video from me thank you so much guys for your support. Okay so what items am I going to not put on my wish list? So what are the makeup items that I've decided I don't need in my collection so they're getting the whole big veto from me. First up is the Manny MUA Life's a Drag palette. The main reason being is that the colours in here are just way outside of my comfort zone. So um, among... Uh, hello! <laughs> So among other things, the main reason for not wanting this palette is because of the colour choices in it. They are not colours that I would tend to wear. I am definitely more a neutrals girl and these are definitely too far way out of my comfort zone. Hello. Another palette that I am not putting in my shopping cart is the Jeffree Star Thirsty Palette. Or is it Bloodthirsty Palette? No, it's the Thirsty Palette. Um, once again, a couple of reasons I don't want this, but mainly because the colours in it aren't, aren't up my alley and... Uh, there are other palettes out there. There just seems to be so much makeup coming out that it's hard enough keeping up with the ones you really, really want. This was an easy decision to pass on. Hello. Dominique Cosmetics. I was having both palettes, the Lemonade palette and the Latte palette in my wish list. The Latte palette is one that I really wanted help making a decision on. The Lemonade palette I sort of was interested in at the beginning, but the more I've seen swatches and seen makeup looks with this palette, I've decided they're not colours that I would probably utilise, so I'm not getting the Lemonade palette. The next items is... Disappointing for me really. I got really excited when I first saw Jaclyn Hill mention on her YouTube channel that she was bringing out a set of four makeup palettes and calling it The Vault. I was really excited. I loved the idea of the smaller palettes. I loved the colour combinations. Was really excited. Went over to Morphe, signed up wanted to be notified when it came out was definitely going to buy the whole $49 vault. But then with all the drama that has ensued since then, I think this is a definite no for me. I can't be bothered with all the hoo-ha that goes on with these sorts of things and there are so many other amazing products out there that I just don't want to get caught up in all the rubbish that goes along with this which is a shame because I was super excited when I first saw this when it first came out um, and so a, li a little bit disappointed but I certainly am not going to to back that when it comes out. It should have been sorted before it even got released and um, I'm sorry, big cosmetic companies just shouldn't have 
problems like this. It just shouldn't happen. And there are plenty of other products out there that deserve my money a lot more. So this is definitely a pass for me. The Melt palettes that have come out, I am passing on those. The first palette that came out didn't get the best reviews from people as um, comparison to the Melt Stacks. They felt that the palette wasn't as good a quality as the actual Stacks. So I'm passing on both of these palettes, the Gemini and the whatever it is here. It's the warmer palette, but I'll be passing on both of these as well. And I will also be passing on the Pat McGrath Highlighters, I love Pat McGrath, really, really do. Excited that they do ship to New Zealand, but I really don't need any more highlighters and I get tempted enough as it is. So it's nice to be able to say, nope, I'm not having those highlighters. It'll be the first time I've done that in a very long time. So they are the items that I'm definitely passing on. It's a much smaller list than my wish list video, but them's the breaks when you enjoy makeup so much. I'd love to hear down below what products you are passing on and if you think I'm making a mistake with some of these products, I would love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for joining me guys. If you enjoyed that, please give it a thumbs up. I would truly appreciate it. And as I said at the beginning of the video, if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button. I'd love to see you back. I hope you've all had a beautiful and a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you next time. See you later guys. Bye.